Okay, a quick recap really of what we looked at previously. Here, if we are adding, in the first case, a positive, remember our idea from last time is we're adding in something hot, obviously we're just going to carry on going up, and so that is just going to be the same as plain old adding, and so we'll get our answer nice and easily. In the next case, we are adding in a negative. So we're adding in something cold. In other words, we're going to end up going down in our temperature. And so what we will have is the same as just subtracting because we're going down. And so we'll get our answer like that. Now, in the next case, what we're doing here is we're subtracting a positive. In other words, we're taking away some of the heat. If we're taking away some of the heat, we're obviously going to be going down in temperature. So again, this is just subtraction. And then the last case the scenario where we are taking away a negative, we are taking away some of the cold. So we're taking, if we're taking away some of the cold, our temperature is going to go up. It's the same as adding and so we'll get our answer there. Let's look at how we might deal with a scenario like this one, where we um, are asked to fill in the gap. So what we've got is 4 subtract something has to get us to 7. Now, 7 is bigger than 4. So to get from 4 to 7, we have to go up. But what we have here is subtraction. And subtraction generally means we go down. So the only way we're going to get it to be going up is if what we subtract is in fact negative. So we subtract a negative because we know subtracting a negative, taking away some of the cold, is the same as making it go up. In other words, adding. And then we know it has to be three steps.